Investigators have now identified a body found in Highland County. She's one of four Chillicothe women found dead after being reported missing. Surrey investigators have identified the remains as 26-year-old Tiffany Sayer. She's been missing from Chillicothe since May 11th. Her body was found in a creek bed in Highland County Saturday. The coroner there has not released the cause of death. Investigators say Sayer is now the fourth woman from the Chillicothe area who has been found dead since last May. Another death was ruled a homicide. A third death ruled a suspicious overdose. And another one was ruled a suicide. Investigators say they still aren't sure if the cases are related. And right now, two other women are still missing. I have an emergency. I found a woman's body in a crib. Where at? Wrapped up in a blanket. Where at? Okay, but you are certain that there is a female body wrapped yes. in a blanket? Yes, she's wrapped up in a blanket, and you can see her breast, her stomach, um, duct tape, uh, a white blanket. Okay, ma'am. Oh, God, please hurry. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. And the body of a white female was located approximately 200 yards away near a fence line close to the intersection of Hardin Drive and North Brownell Street. The female was pronounced dead at the scene by the Ross County Coroner's Office. That victim had um, signs of injury to her body. She was taken for an autopsy. At this time, positive identification has not yet been made. Also, at this time, there is no evidence at the scene to indicate in any way that this homicide is related to any of the current uh, missing women's cases currently being investigated in Ross County. We've heard that rumor that the uh, face was mutilated, and that's not the case. If there's any evidence to link it to the others, then we'll certainly look at that. My name is Diana Willett. Wanda Lemons is my daughter. She was loving, uh, kind-hearted. She'd give you a shirt off of her back. She'd help anybody. I mean, she was just that kind of person. I haven't uh, heard from Wanda in four years now. I look at her pictures all the time, and cry because she's not here. I just miss her so much. It's just my world and my life is just not the same since uh, Wanda disappeared. And it'll never be the same. Because I have to I have to realize that I might have to uh, live the rest of my life without her. And I just can't see, my, see me living my life without her. It's just uh, too hard to uh, comprehend. But I know in my heart and my gut that, I, I, that you know, she's gone. And uh, I would just like to be able to find her body. That way I can bury her and give her the decent burial she deserves. I just miss her so much. I have dreams that uh, she's in water. Uh, it just seems like it keeps coming back that she's in water. That uh, her body's in water. But this dream seems like it's so, so, so real. She was killed before she went to the water. I keep thinking and keep feeling that, you know, I know she's not alive because my dreams are just like, you know, I need to find her. She's trying to tell me to find her so that I can bury her. It's just time for us to get answers, you know. Four years is just a long time. I'm just hoping that maybe you guys can get out here and come up with some really good answers. That's what I'm looking for. I just want closure. She's just a beautiful girl. She was just precious. That's her and her best friend. How often do you find yourself looking at pictures? And... All the time. When I'm by myself, all the time. You think in time it would get easier. It gets harder. I don't care what anybody says. It's harder for me. Because the longer it is, it's the more I want to cry, the more I just want to just take and uh, scream. There's times I just want to scream bloody murder, you know, for somebody that would do something like that to, you know, take somebody so precious. It's become dangerous. The dope boys have, they have shot up a backyard in retaliation. They have come and, and made threats to the mothers, to the families. Okay, they've, they've done that. They've 
they made threats to people who support the mothers and the families. You start uncovering dirt on these dope boys, they'll follow you, shoot at you. That's the thing, you know, you guys might want to be careful. They are armed, they, and they don't care. You know, if they can hide six people, they can kill six people and get away with it. So far, how many years? Two have never been found? What do you think? I mean, <laughs> they can get away with that, plus everywhere else, plus the ones down in uh, Portsmouth. They can get away with that. What do you think they're going to do? I mean, my best, my best advice to anybody is always protect yourself. Protect yourself and be safe. Always, always know your surroundings. If something ain't right, that gut tells you 90% if something ain't right. If something ain't right, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go there. If something doesn't feel right, don't, don't follow it. Yeah, if or if you're going to follow it, be safe. Stay on alert just to keep your eyes and ears open. And especially in this situation where you're investigating yeah. a and series of... the kind of work that you guys are doing, and you're really serious about doing this, then you need to protect yourself. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, there might be leads that take you in the middle of nowhere. Literally. Take you out in the middle of nowhere. Well, you know, holy deliverance, here we go. You know, you don't want to be out there. You don't want, you know, and, and if you have people that you can trust to text them your location, I'd do it. I'd always have somebody know exactly where you guys are going. Somebody that's trustable. You yeah, know, that's that trustworthy. That way, if something does happen, they know where you were. Right, and they can investigate. Somebody's always got to have your back. Especially in that line, in, in doing that, but and what you're doing. You guys choose, chose this kind of life to do, uh, so uh, you need to protect yourself uh, because we need good people like you that really wants to do this and find out, you know, what happens to uh, whatever case you work on. Uh, because uh, you know, there's not very many. So the ones that are doing this and really wants to get down to the bottom of it, the only thing I have to say is protect yourself, protect your family, because, you know, uh, you're doing a job and it's very risky. Don't ever let anybody know where you live. Uh, don't ever, no. Never let anybody know where you live. Don't ever let anybody know where you're at. And, if you, and when you do go somewhere, make sure you have people that know where you are and when you will return. And if something happens, you don't return, then they know to go look for you. So Always just keep contact. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's, it's a mess. Just, just protect yourselves. That's all I gotta say. Just protect yourselves. Best in Kevlar. I'm asking for Shasta to come through, please. Shasta, if you're here with me, was you alone? Yes or no, was you alone? There's a female. I know you're here. Is there a male that wants to talk to us? Oh, stop. So that's all? Yeah. Do you not want to talk to us no more? I do. What's your name? Tell us your name. Do you, know. do you want us to go on the bridge? It just said to me. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Did you hear that? Go. There's something down here we're missing. Is there something in these trees? I want to speak to the female. Can you communicate with us, yes or no? 
sound like female. Shasta, did you jump off this bridge? There's a female. Did you jump off this bridge, yes or no? I did? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah but, but before there was a we were getting the male, male voice, voice over and over again. Yeah. yeah, down there a lot. Yeah. But it may have been... Maybe someone else died. I mean, who the hell knows? So what's going on, Josh? They just found a body. Chill. Where we at? Let him go first. Well, I am. So we were just down here starting a ghost box session, and somebody just pulled up and said they just found another body of a missing person. So the sheriff is on the way out here. This, all this shit's happening. I'm shaking. Make sure you get his license plate number on the truck. Just give me a second. There's a body over here. Holy shit. Wait, Sean. I know. Okay, get ready, get ready. My okay, gun? Okay. Okay. Holy, Holy shit, shit, there's a body. Dude, oh, I'll my film God. it. Oh my fucking God. Stop it, man. Come on. Get the brakes. Keep recording no matter what. Do not stop. Unlock the truck. I'm 